No, we have some serious things to talk about today. I I was thinking about this for a long time, okay? Now, in the Pokemon world, right, there's... I've never seen them eat food. As, as in, like, food as in, uh, animals. Like, what animals do they eat? So, if every animal they can battle with, do they eat them? What Pokemon can you eat? We're gonna go through some and see if they're edible or not. They could be. I think everything's edible. You just gotta try hard enough. Okay, first one. This is a Ghastly. Now, what I'm thinking when I'm looking at it, can I eat this Pokemon? I feel like you could. But the thing is, right here, this one I'm gonna, I'm looking at right here. This is actually, is this a solid form? Right? Because cause if this is a solid form right here, see, we have to go about this a different way. Because I'm, I'm thinking this is just gas, so you probably could eat that if you really try. But it's like, can I sink my teeth in him and is he a solid? Because he looks kind of solid if you ask me. Like, if you look right here, that's solid. I think the problem, honestly, for me, would be the teeth part. We can just pluck those. We can pluck those out, though. We can just, you know, cut those, cut those right off. I feel like the eyeballs, like crunching into the eyeballs, would be kind of off-putting because they're really big. But yeah, on a, a scale of one to ten, I think you probably could give him a, a six of edibleness of what you want to eat. Yeah, yeah. Ghastly is a six. A kuka, a kakum, kakuna, a kakuna. And by the word, obviously, a cocoon or something, it's a bug. I, now listen, people in the world eat bugs. And I get that, I, you know, that's amazing. I, preferably, will not eat a bug, especially a cocoon. So that means, like, inside, it's probably all juicy, right? Because he's still developing. And you just bunch, you just bite into, like, a, a big, just, ball of just guts and, and nasty stuff. I mean, you could cook it, get that out. So, I, for me, edible, uh, no. It's like, not, not even a one, maybe like a negative one. I'm gonna say a negative two on the edible scale. Mm-mm. Not, not, not happening. That's what I'm a little bit more hopeful on, okay? <laughs> but, I'm, I'm trying to see if it's any meat. Because I, I feel like it's, it's just a big ball of fat. Which is, it can be good for some if, you know, fat has flavor. That's great. What my concern is, is this, is this right here. This thing is this a, is that hair or is that part of his anatomy? As in, like, is that like a um, uh, extra um, ligament like these things down here? His little arms. I feel like I feel like the arms would be a little too bony because you know it's just like it's like eating crabs. You know, you open it up and it's a, it's a little bit of meat in there. It's not really worth my time going after. So would you freeze them? I feel like I feel like you freeze them. Like you ever freeze a grape? I feel like they'd be really good frozen. Frozen, and then, uh, you eat them. You know, like grapes. Or you can cook them. The outside will be cooked, and then the inside probably still be uncooked. And you really can't, I mean, you can, if you flip it over, you can flip it, I guess. Then you're burning the outside. I would say maybe a four. You know, once you get past the face, I feel like you, you could do it. Next one, Mudkip. Man, I'm already seeing a few problems here. Like, I'm already seeing little problems that stand out to me. The, the the tail is one of them. What's on the head? The weird cheek things. I'm not sure what the heck that is. I like fish. I think he's a fish. I like fish. I mean, well, that fish is pretty good. Would I specifically go after this thing to eat it? No, probably not. So do some research on this one. Is Mudkip a mud skipper? A mudfish? This one says it's an axolotl though. What's a mudfish? It kind of looks like an axolotl to me. If it was, if it's an axolotl, yeah, I'm not gonna eat it. You know, I personally not like don't like axolotls. But looking at the anatomy of an axolotl, no, it's not enough payoff. So probably, probably on the edible scale, a one. Not even that. Maybe like a one. Yeah. Ugh. I don't see it. The problem with eating him, I don't think it'll be the necessarily the eating part. More of the getting him down, like a bow and arrow, or, or, or just you know, pew pew. Yeah, the thighs, but I'm not sure if that's shorts or not, or that's part of his body. I'm not sure if he's wearing clothes. It looks like he has a shirt on, maybe. He has some thick thighs, but I think the meat would be in the thighs, unless you like the ears and your gristle and all. But that's his hair. Wait, is that hair or is it ears? His ears are up here. What is that? Does this guy have dreads? Is this a person? Three. I personally, nah. I think, I think uh, getting your butt kicked for food was not worth it, especially this thing. <clears throat> I think I've tasted frog legs once in my life. It does taste like chicken. I'm not sure what the heck this is on his face. 
when I circle what the heck that is. Is that his nose? Does he have fur? Is this like a, is this is this fur on um a frog? Slimy skin and fur? Mm-mm. I'm a five. I was gonna say a six, but nah, not that helpful. Onyx. Now I know what you're thinking. Absolutely not. You would be right if you don't think about it. Just think about this. Okay, he's a rock. Okay. I've seen people cook rocks before. You can put some seasoning on him or on some sauce and suck it off. If you start at his tail and just don't think about it, just start at his tail. Don't chew. Maybe swallow whole. But who's to say he's actually rock hard? Is he rock solid? He could be squishy. He could be squishy when cooked. I think same with Lucario. Getting him down would be the problem. Uh, digestively and physically getting him down would be a problem. So, uh... We're gonna say zero <laughs> on the edible scale. No, no, I don't think so. Why would you want to? Why would you want to? It doesn't, no. He, no, nah. Oh, oh, this is, this is the one I wanna talk about, owl creams. I love owl creams. I think they're beautiful. That's one of my favorite Pokemon. But the most edible, I think, yes. Strawberry, you can have different variants of owl creams, like any kind of flavor, think about it. This one's strawberry. I'm a strawberry fan. I'll eat strawberry. Do Pokemon bleed? Is it blood inside them? Do we do we know any things about blood? Because if if it is, wouldn't she just be strawberry jam? These are strawberries. Her eyeballs are red. Strawberries. The, even the eyeball problem wouldn't be. I have a problem with eyeballs. The problem with eyeballs with this one, I probably wouldn't have a problem because it's strawberry. This is all whipped cream. Do they have any other flavors? Hold on. We're gonna look up other flavors of eye creams. Okay, so we ah found out we have a blueberry flavor. I'm not really a fan of blueberry, but uh, you know, I'm not gonna put it off. You know, I try. I don't like blueberry personally. Personally, blueberry is not my thing, but uh, I try it. It looks like minty, but the strawberry out of all the flavors I see, I guess the strawberry would be the one I go after. So yes, I would eat this. I'd probably put it on top of some ice cream. So that's like a ten and like an edible scale. They see these hands, that's me reaching down to pick it up to eat it. And of course it's like, oh I trust you. I, I you're my you're my trainer. You wouldn't do that. I would. Survival of the fittest. Lump up, lump up something? It's penguin. Penguin. Penguins. Penguins are nice. Getting past the beak, of course. The face, yeah. I feel like he does have an attitude problem, so once again probably getting him down. But he's small. I feel like that'd be easy. Be kick him a little bit. Inside be a lot of blubber, so yeah. Maybe Maybe not eating, maybe can use it as like a a placement to cook something else. Yeah, I wouldn't need it. I would eat it, but not because I want to. I'd give it a three. Hey, this one! This one is a Yamper. Electricity Pokemon. See, that's my problem. I'm, I'm worried about the different elements. If he's electricity, will he shock me while I'm eating him? If you trick him into thinking that you're not going to eat him, he probably wouldn't shock you. This is just fur, right down there. All this is fur. Body, not really a good picture of him. Hold on, the plumper, like a uh, side, a side view of him. Let me see. Okay, uh, yeah, okay, this is a side view. Not the best side view, but okay. So yeah, a lot of payoff, a lot of meat. That'd be good, really healthy for you. Uh, mmm, I don't know. Best way to think, I think, to do would be cook it. Yeah, just give it all the fur, cook it, throw it on the grill, skewer, maybe rotate. Good. An eight. I feel like it'd be great to eat. Amper gets an eight. Pikachu, since he's there, Ghastly was a six because we don't know if it's actually Ghastly. Like, is he a solid? You know, that would change a lot of things. The Kuna is a it's, a, it's a bug. No. No, no. Negative two. Mudkip, one. Jigglypuff, four. Lucario, three. Froakie, five. Onyx, zero. Because it's a rock. The Alcream, ten. I'll eat, I'd eat an owl cream. I don't care what no one says. I'd eat it. Low pop three and Yamper was a, was a eight. You know? In the world of Pokemon, there has to be some give and take. I'm not the only one who thinks about this, I promise you. 